the local talent show. I'm going to be a singing sensation. <laughs> oh, careful, Small. You're going to knock your song sheet off. What's your song called again? The Tomato Song. I can't believe you forgot it, Jen. Let's sing it. <laughs> Ready? I have a veggie patch. I have some seeds to sow and I can grow. What can you grow? I grow tomatoes. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Ooh. Banana, 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 banana. <laughs> That's not right, Small. In the song, you don't grow bananas, you grow tomatoes. Oh, sorry, Jen. I forgot my words because my song sheet blew away. Here, let me hold it for you. Ready? OK. I have a veggie patch and I have something to grow. Oh, Noodles, you're holding it too high. What can you grow? Oh, no, you're holding it too low now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know. Instead of using your song sheet, we could use other things to help you remember the words. Like... Oh, <laughs> this bowl of tomatoes. When you need to sing tomatoes, I'll hold one up. OK, Jen. Ready? I have a veggie patch. I have some seeds to sow and I can grow. What can you grow? I grow <gasps> tomatoes. Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. It's working. Practice again. What can you grow? Um, smelly socks. Smelly, smelly, smelly socks, smelly socks, smelly socks. Whoops, my missing sock. I wonder where that had gone. <laughs> oh, oh, it's no good. I need to use my song sheet, but when I sing, it blows all over the place. We'll have to think of a plan later, Small. We've got a customer. <laughs> I'm off with a whiz to see who it is. <laughs> Who's in our cafe today, Small? Give us a clue. See if you can guess too. Oh, it's a man who loves music and can play lots of instruments. A man who loves music and can play lots of instruments. Do you know who it is? Is it the music man? Hello. Yes, it's our old friend, the music man. He's come from far away and he can play. What can he play? He plays piano. <laughs> and the trombone, and the bagpipes. Well, everything, really. But what can we cook for such a marvellous musician? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Once there was a magnificent music man. He could play any instrument and would visit kingdoms far and wide to perform for his supper. One day, he met a king. The king was sad because his daughter, the princess, had never danced in her life. The king told the music man if he could make the princess dance, he would reward him with a huge banquet. So the music man played all his instruments and made marvellous music. But it was no use. The princess would not dance. I was helping prepare the king's banquet when I saw the music man leaving. I wanted to help him, so I had one of my brilliant ideas. These vegetables taste amazing, but you can make them sound amazing too. 
And so I used my spoon to dig and scoop and turn the vegetables into instruments. And so the music man played for the princess once more with his very own Hi. vegetable orchestra. She was puzzled at first, but as she heard the magical sounds of the courgette trumpet, the carrot flute and the boom-boom beats of the pumpkin drum, she just had to get up and dance. The king was overjoyed. Time for the banquet, he cried. Thank you, Small, said the music man. Your vegetable instruments were music to my ears. And now it's time for the big finale, I said. And I transformed the instruments into a delicious vegetable stew. Let's hook up to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Making musical food was a pitch-perfect plan. But what can we cook for the music man? Hmm, maybe something he can eat and play. We need to do some serious thinking. <laughs> oh. hmm. I know Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There are recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Here's the perfect recipe, a risotto drum. It sounds delicious. Can you read out the ingredients, Small? Coming up, Jen. To make our drum, we need butter, olive oil, onion, garlic, risotto rice, vegetable stock, courgette, aubergine, red and yellow pepper, and grated parmesan. Great, we've got all those. And finally, we need celery. Uh-oh, we don't have any celery. Don't worry, Jen. I can whiz off and get some. Good idea. And I'll get everything ready. <laughs> Why don't you come along too? Woohoo! I wonder what she'll see today. Whoa! This is where celery grows. This celery is growing in a big field. Look at those lovely green leaves. They're very bushy. <laughs> but where is the celery? Oh, there it is. It's hiding in the soil. But what does the celery grow from? These are celery seeds. Ah, celery grows from these tiny seeds. But how does it grow so big? We place the little celery seeds into blocks of soil in our glass house and they grow in plants like this. Oh, I see. You have to plant them in the ground. And after a while, the celery grows and is ready to be picked. Make sure you're careful with a knife. Look at all those celery stalks. Now more celery needs to be picked. Wow, that's a massive machine. Look at the people picking the celery. There's lots that needs to be picked today. Once the celery is picked, it's put in a conveyor belt, ready to be packed. Whee! Look at the celery go! This machine packs the celery into bags. Now it's going for another ride! Whee! It's packed into boxes, ready to go to the shops. I think there's some celery stalks in there for us. Thanks for picking our celery. This looks delicious. Let's get it back to the cafe. I'll see you there. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa! I'm back, Jen. That was quick. I've measured out all the ingredients. 
Did you get the celery? Here it is. Brilliant, Small. We have everything we need. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Honey pots and hedgehog rolls. Starry breakfast skies. Robot cake and power shake. And sunflower surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. She is big cook and she is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready to, to cook. cook. While you were away, Small, I set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or gas mark six. Nice work. Do you remember the ingredients for the risotto drum? Mm. To make the drum, we need butter, a blob, olive oil, two tablespoons, an onion, chopped, garlic, one clove, crushed, risotto rice, 250 grams, hot vegetable stock, about a litre. You can ask your grown-up helper to make this from a stock cube and hot, hot, hot water. Courgette, one medium-sized, diced, aubergine, a couple of thick slices, a red and yellow pepper, Diced, some grated parmesan, a tablespoon, and lastly, celery. Three stalks, one chopped up small and two whole. That's everything. Let's get started. First, we need to put the chopped peppers and the courgette onto a baking tray, along with the aubergine, two thick slices to make the centre of the drum. I'm going to be just like the music man and play loads of instruments. What can you play? I play the lolly stick. It will be the perfect drumstick for my tin drum. <laughs> Ober, Ober, Aubergine, Aubergine, Aubergine. Groovy. <laughs> Next, drizzle the olive oil over the vegetables. Give them a stir to make sure everything's nice and even. Then, they're ready to pop into the oven to roast for 30 minutes. Remember to ask your grown-up helper to do this for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot! I'll set the timer for 30 minutes. While we're waiting for our vegetables to roast, let's make the risotto. Melt the butter in a large pan. Remember to ask your grown-up helper to do this for you, as the pan and the hob will be... Wow! Hot, hot, hot! Don't forget the chopped onion and garlic and garlic. Thanks, Small. I'll add them now. First the onion, then the garlic. Give them a good stir and gently fry. Smells delicious. Once the onions have softened, add the celery and the risotto rice. And cook gently. Don't forget to stir the rice, stir the rice, stir the rice. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. <laughs> now, carefully pour in the hot vegetable stock. A little bit at a time. We need to make sure that the rice absorbs the stock before adding any more. The vegetables are cooked and cooled. Yes, small. They look yummy. I'm going to add most of the veggie mix to the risotto, but leave a bit behind for decoration later. Finally, let's sprinkle on the grated parmesan and mix everything together. I'll blow on it and cool it down a bit more. <gasps> ah, your song sheet's blown away. <laughs> Time to turn our ingredients into a drum. There's enough risotto to make a few drums, but we're just making one for the music man. To make a drum, get a large round cookie cutter and gently spoon in the risotto. Try not to overfill it, but once it reaches the top, gently pat it down with the back of a spoon. Is that going to be the bottom of the drum? That's right, small. <laughs> 
once everything's patted down, lift the cutter away and the risotto should hold its shape. Next, place one of the roasted aubergine slices on top of the drum base, then using your cutter again to add more risotto on top. On it goes and spoon it in. This can be a bit fiddly, so you might need to ask your grown-up helper to help you. Can I have a drum roll, please, Small? OK. Ta-da! Our drum is almost finished. To decorate, let's add the other slice of roasted aubergine and the leftover roasted veggies on top. And finally, two stalks of celery for drumsticks. <laughs> a yum drum. Wow! That looks good enough to play and eat. The music man will love it. One risotto drum for our marvellously musical friend coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. <laughs> my name's Jen. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs. The things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away. Ready for you for another day. Pots and pans will start to smell. If we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down. We've got the cleanest cafe in town. It's almost time for the talent show, Small. Oh, Noodles, if I'm going to sing my song, I need to stop my song sheet from blowing away. <laughs> the music man's finished. He must have loved his risotto. The plate's empty. And look, Small, he's left us a note. A musical note. What does it say? What does it say? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Jen and Little Cook Small, my risotto drum was tummy tappingly tasty. To say thank you, here's a souvenir magnet that I collected on my many travels. Tunefully yours, the music man. <gasps> it's a little trumpet. What an amazing magnet. We can stick it on the cupboard so we can see it every day. It won't stick to the cupboard, Jen. Magnets only stick to things that are made of metal. <gasps> like my tin. Here you go, Small. Ooh, a magnet. This will be perfect for keeping my song sheet in place. Give it a go. Oh, <gasps> it sticks. Now I can sing in the show. Ready? I have the veggie patch. I have some seeds to sow and I can grow. What can you grow? I grow tomatoes. <gasps> Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs>